Welcome, welcome. It's fucking Tuesday today. And uh, going on a little bit about the week. It's been a little bit of a crazy week. I'm going to try to do this podcast while these goddamn dogs are killing each other in the middle of the floor here. Driving me fucking nuts. But they're not going to stop. There's nothing I can do about it. I can tell them to break it up. I can put them in separate corners, but it doesn't matter. They're like... uh, they're like that bully from grade school that the second the teacher turns his back, it doesn't matter. He's fucking back on it, twisting your titties and whatever the fuck ever. Uh, that's how they are. So I'm not even going to fucking try anymore. I'm just going to let them do their thing. And if they want to kill each other, then let them fucking kill each other. Okay? Need a little bit of a I don't give a fuck around here. It'll help them be better dogs. Anyways, some shit that's been driving me fucking crazy this week. So, I ordered some pizza. This was Sunday. And if anybody knows, my favorite kind of pizza is Hungry Howie's. I don't get paid for them. I don't get any special coupons. I don't get shit. I just like Hungry Howie's fucking pizza. That's all there is. It's deliciousness. It's They use the right amount of sauce. They use just the right amount of cheese. It's not too saucy. It's not too cheesy. It's that middle ground. That perfect middle ground of pizza goodness. But that's why I like it. So I had a nice, nice fantastic day with DiCarlo on the lake at my pop's house. And uh, I'm a little hungry. Because I've got a brother who's a vegan and his girlfriend's a vegan. So, our meal choices are often limited, and on this particular day, they decided to make some vegan food. And I'm not against vegan food, but it just doesn't taste that good to me. It tastes vegetable-y, and when I want a hot dog, I want it to taste like a hot dog. I know hot dogs are mostly shit, and it's disgusting, but I don't care. I like the taste of it, but they bring the vegan hot dogs, and they just don't taste like hot dogs. They taste weird to me. So I didn't eat it. So I'm hungry. And I gotta go to... uh, And my favorite food is pizza. It is. Everybody that knows me. I love a good slice of fucking pie. So I uh, call up a Hungry Howie's. The one that's by me. And uh, we drive over there. Place the order for pickup. And I get in there. And there's these two women in there. And they've clearly had something go wrong with their order. And they're bitching. But they're not bitching, like, to the clerk. They're bitching to themselves and to people that are sitting in the lobby. And it's that uncomfortable kind of bitching to where they want you to kind of, to notice them. But they're they're not being outright. But they're saying it loud enough to where they know that you can hear it. And they almost want you to rally on their side. And I'm not a rallier. I don't go, I I don't go with the crowd and and, and get all amped up and get all fucking crazy and support the cause. That's not me. I'm a, I I keep to myself. I just want my fucking pizza. I want my pepperoni and mushrooms in my tummy. Yummy, yummy. That's what I want. I don't give a fuck about your cause. But something had gone wrong with the order. And they thought the girl working behind the counter was the cause of it. And I know this because they asked her, are you the one that answered the phone? Are you the one that I talked to? And she goes, no, ma'am, I'm not the one that you talked to. But the second she turned away, they looked at you. Bitch knows she's the one I talked to. Bitch knows that she's the one. Silly ass bitch lying to me. Saying it loud enough to where me and everybody else in the fucking lobby can hear. And there's two others of us sitting there. And we're getting that uncomfortable vibe. You know, you can tell some shit's about to go off. And you're just hoping it doesn't. You're just hoping human dignity will prevail. But it's probably not gonna. Yeah, so the, so again, she, she, she walks back from the back room to, to get my wings and put them in the oven. Okay, because I got wings with my pizza. 
and we want salad too. DiCarlo wanted a salad. She's very clear about that. So she brought those things out, and they, as soon as she got out there, they would muffle. They would quiet down. Oh, this, 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 this fucking bitch. They wouldn't say it in front of her face. They, it's almost like they wanted her to slightly hear it so that they that she knew they were talking about her. It's that chicken shit kind of thing that people pull instead of just being out with it. But they want to they want to kind of let you know they're talking about you, but they don't want to be overt about it. So they lower their voice, but they carry it just enough so you can hear it when you're far away. I fucking can't stand that shit. It drives me fucking crazy. It was taking everything in my power not to just fucking lose it in there. And I have a history of losing it in places. Um, especially if shit's really fucked up. And it's usually not against the place. It's usually about somebody else who's being indignant in the place, if that's even the right word. So I'm on. I'm already getting aggravated. And the girl leaves again to go grab some, some more boxes. They keep always keep the pizza boxes in the back for some reason. And the second she... That silly-ass bitch knows what the fuck she did. Fucking thinking I'm not going to come up here. Fucking thinking I'm not going to fucking come up here. This bitch got another fucking thing coming. And I just want to say, are you that fucking chicken shit that you can't just say what you got to say to this woman? It's a fucking pizza. There's a million fucking pizza places around. And the craziest part is you don't fucking pay until you get your fucking pizza, right? You don't. I mean, it's not, I mean, I guess you could pay over the phone, but most pizza places, if there's a problem, they just give you your money back. Something went wrong, we'll just give you your money back, sir. No fuss, no muss. What the fuck happened to get these people so fucking hostile at my favorite Hungry Howie's of all places? They make a bomb pizza. There's not a lot you can be pissed about. But they were fucking pissed. And the shit went on and on and on. And the chick goes back to get the box. The bitch thinks, I'm going I'm to beat that bitch's ass if she thinks she's going to get away with this fucking shit. I'm going to beat that bitch's ass. And her friend's egging her on. That bitch, that bitch, you, you, bet, you bet your ass you're going to beat that bitch. Fuck, with, fuck around with me. Fuck around with you. Fuck around with you. It's a fucking pizza place the fuck are you talking about fuck around with you yeah this kid, <laughs> this teenage girl who's probably making minimum wage at the pizza place has decided she wants to spend her time fucking around with you fucking around with you and pissing you off get the fuck out of here this chick's thinking about uh johnny big dick who she's gonna bang after this thing or what party she's going to she doesn't give a fuck about messing around with a bunch of dumb bitches she doesn't. Who gives a fuck? You make the pizzas, people come and pick them up. There's not a lot fucking to it. it you know, they kind of have this thing automated. Pop the pizza, you know, pop the toppings on there. Shit's probably already pre-mixed up. You don't even have to fuck around. Stress-free, right? You'd think it's a pretty simple fucking system. Apparently not. Apparently it's not a fucking simple system. It's a fucking crazy system. But I've, I've been there. I felt this girl's pain because I've worked in retail. Okay. I worked for a, for a Target corporation. I worked at a grocery store. And I've been that person before. I've been in her shoes. Where a customer... They, they, they take the customer as always right thing a little too fucking seriously. And that any slight deviation from what they're expecting is a major fucking offense to them and that gives them since they've been offended very slightly their sensitivities that gives them full bore and full uh leeway to act like a complete fucking psycho they, and they want to egg you on they want to try to say some shit to see if you'll lose your fucking cool and this chick didn't She didn't. She kept a fucking cool head. I know she heard him talking shit. But she kept a cool fucking head the entire way. Just like a goddamn Hungry Howie's employee should. 
Absolutely. fucking lutely But I know that, and I know that fucking sinking feeling that you get when you know they're talking shit about you, and you're working, you know, and you can't do anything crazy because unlike unlike these goofy motherfucker, you give a fuck about your job. You know, you just want to do your job and go home. You don't give a. You're not trying to get wrapped up in the fucking drama, and you know they're trying to push your fucking buttons, so you can't. You can't even respond. You just gotta be friendly. You just gotta give a smile and take their shit. You gotta eat shit that entire time, and pretend you don't notice, and pretend that all's just going over your head. They say it's being a professional. Oh, it's fucking gut wrenching though when you're the one. Who's got to eat that shit? It's fucking terrible. Yeah, that was my experience on fucking Sunday. The point of all this. Just be cool. Just be cool to everybody. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to lose your shit. I know I've got a little bit of a temper, but you don't have to lose your shit all the time. You can just, uh, if they get your order wrong, hey, it's just food. They just got your order wrong. It's not a big deal. You don't have to trip the fuck out. You don't have to make the one per. You don't have to target the person at the fast food place or at the pizza place or at the restaurant. You don't have to target the waitress and make her feel like shit. Trust me, they've been working eight, eight fucking hours straight in a fucking hot kitchen. They probably already feel like shit. They don't need you to make them feel like shit more. Fucking crazy. Be kind to your fucking pizza people. They make a damn nice slice of pie. And they'll give you years and years of happiness eating delicious pizzas. That's all the fuck I got to say today. Have a good one.